killed, multiple children dead at this scene, an atrocious scene is what CBS News is calling it, and they are also saying that the, the number of dead is going to go into the double digits. We just heard um, that CBS News, I'm just getting this in my ear now, has now confirmed at least 27 people are dead. 27 people at the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting. Um, that is the word that we're getting. We don't have a breakdown of how many of the 27 are children or perhaps teachers or adults. Um, just a horrifying situation there. And for all of the parents who are still in that firehouse, at least they are the lucky ones. They're reuniting with their children. And um, at this point, state police are still gathering to bring us an official news conference within the next hour or so. And we're going to be going to a CBS special report also. Uh, I believe, or we're getting the information. I guess we can dip in there now. We can take a look at some of the pictures here. Uh, these are some of the pictures coming from the uh, CBS special report there. Um, you can see some obviously emotional scenes. Uh, let's listen in to the CBS report. to grapple with the implications of this. New Haven, approximately 30 minutes away from the scene of this crime in Newtown, Connecticut. I want to turn to Bob Orr, who joins us now live from Washington, D.C. Bob, uh, it was moments ago that you began to report out some of the grim details of this crime. What can you tell us now? Well, the numbers are staggering. I mean, as John uh, reported, uh, I think the number 27 now is, uh, is an accurate number. That at least is the working number of the total number dead. Uh, we're told at least nine adults have been killed, which means that uh, a large number of children have been killed. Uh, the preliminary number, as John said, was 14. It might actually be a little higher than that. But, but again, uh, we have to be very, very careful, as we've stressed repeatedly, because uh, in these incidents, as we've learned in the past, which we saw in Columbine and we saw at Virginia Tech, uh, the numbers, the circumstances, uh, all of that changes. It's a very fluid situation. Importantly, uh, two guns have been recovered. That will tell us a little bit about uh, how this shooter was armed. Obviously, a number of shots uh, fired, uh, probably scores of shots fired. Uh, the two guns are handguns, uh, most likely semi-automatics, uh, the kinds of weapons that we've seen used uh, in other places. Of course, the federal government will help uh, the local police there trace those guns, uh, and then they will also work on the background of who this suspect is. Apparently, uh, this seems to have started with some kind of confrontation at the school, uh, the gunman getting in an argument, as we've reported. Uh, with people in the front office there. Uh, but we have to say right now, we don't know who the gunman is, and we don't know, uh, moreover, what the gunman's motive was. I mean, it's, it's a catastrophic event for someone to show up at, at the ultimate soft target, as they like to say in law enforcement circles, a uh, school, an unprotected school, an elementary school, uh, and just starting to open fire. But clearly, this person went there uh, with the ability to do that and the intention to do that because he had uh, plenty of ammunition and, and the two weapons. As we look back historically through some of these other uh, catastrophic events, uh, these numbers, if they hold, will put this among the upper reaches of the worst shootings we've ever seen in this country. Uh, if you look at Columbine, for example, uh, the, the final number there, I think, was 13 dead. In Virginia Tech, we had 32 dead. So apparently, this is somewhere in the middle. Uh, this has rocked the core of the law enforcement community at the federal level. All right, so report there from Bob Orr. We've been listening to that. Bob Orr, and he called this a staggering death toll, 27 dead, according to Bob Orr, who is uh, very well connected in the federal justice community. 27 dead. He's reporting nine adults, uh, and that the rest would be children, uh, which puts us at uh, 21 children. Uh, who may have lost their lives here, uh, some of the number of 20 children who may have lost their lives, I should say 18, 19, 20, yeah. uh, depending on exactly where we're going to end up with that, just horrible.